Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Firewood, at least. <laughs> Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Let's not keep Chevalier waiting. The space, the... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? That's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! <laughs> you irresponsible wretch! How dare you show me such disrespect! You simpleton! You rot brain cabbage farmer! Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close! The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee! We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner! Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded! Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. 
Ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are your mates bad. now, you filled rat? Talk before I bash out your brains! Oh, no, not another one. We will find them and let them bury what's left of you. Thank you. Here he goes again. Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. Happy hunting, lads! Let her ablaze! Seek that French vessel! No mask for you! Ha ha! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> That's the way! I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. Shay, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adewale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe.
Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. A plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Rumpet of business, that. Captain, Captain how's the hell? We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. Your chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. New sail. Put out all she'll take. Cargo, cast the drift, Captain. Ships ahoy. More fishermen from Perse. The boat patrols these waters closely, Captain. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. And would you look at that? I'm standing right in our way to Antipas. Just like you, sick every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Strange things have happened. Now have your orders. Fire! Enemy sail! Coming at us, sir! Gunboat! We're Royal Navy! Ready here! Shut up, that's fine! Fire! Leave the tough citizens in Garland! Let's get moving. They're no match for us. She's breaking up. Fire! figured out for us. And maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obvious Caesar. Salt air, open skies, a man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. But what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The Templars stick to this continent like a tar. Don't feel liberated till we try them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men, instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? Of course not. They're murdering bastards who want to control the world and everyone in it. Never forget. And we have nothing in common with that, of course. There it is. Auntie Christy. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Winds trouble, Captain Cormac. Bring up the boat. He's off the wind. Marshal the tops. They should be nearby, Captain. Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Winds trouble, Captain Cormac. Go on ahead, Shay. We will meet you at the fort.
So, Louis Joseph. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Where there no charts, no, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Wherever this Lawrence Washington docks is ours. Liam, you're finally getting into the spirit of things. He's a temper and a politician. What's there to like? Good. Hoist anchor. Where does Chevalier get off ordering us around like that? We're assassins, same as him. He's more experienced and he knows his waters better, Shay. That makes him in charge in these parts. Well, he commands me around back at the homestead, too. Is he a truffle pig to know land better than me? Show some respect, Shay. He ought to respect me, Liam. I stick my neck out as much as any of us. Yeah, twice as often as Shay hangs back and thinks before making a decision. His experience has earned him that right. I wonder how much more experience I'll need before I can decide when to wake up or take action. I swear to you, sometimes I feel I was more grown up when we were children. We slept rough and scratched for me. At least we decided where and when. Settlement of Greystone. The French took over after it was ransacked by bandits. Ten assassin allies have their home in two bands. That's the gun of the Royals. Bring in top halyards. Pull. You're on course for a collision, sir! Hold on! Hold on! Uh, 
The Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. For sale! For sale! Clues up! These are sticks! Red Bank in sight, sir. Good hunting ground. Got here. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Hades a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. 